Yeah, it doesn't even choose to sit in the middle anymore. Maybe the middle was too cliche, too expected, you know? Oh, hi there. Aren't you pretty? Oh my god. What's up, everybody? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Subnautica. What you're looking at here is a vent. It is the vent of the piping system, or the output, one of the outputs of the piping system that is supposed to be cycling clean water in and out of the aquarium for the emperor. However, it's being used as a transport system for the enzyme to cure the bacterium. And it's being carried by these gorgeous creatures, the peepers. So we're going to be taking a look at this today. There have been some other updates to the prison, including some new animations for the sea emperor. And in addition to that, I'm going to show you guys where where you can get your very own Markiplier doll. That's right, the doll that the devs made for Markiplier and have been trying forever to get him to be aware of, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's take a look at this thing. I never really gave this too much thought about how the peepers would be cycling in. It's actually an input and an output for every station. As you can see, there's peepers being sucked in, if you didn't notice, and I'm not sure if that's part of an animation or something or if there's actual peepers. No, here they go. They are coming out, dude. So they go in through here and out through here. This is going to be the, you know, infected, disgusting ones. And out here is going to be the delicious, delectable cured peeper. And I'm not sure for how long they will be cured. Is it completely gone and you can never get it again? Or is it gone temporarily until you're exposed to another source or a mass amount of it? What's interesting, though, is you can see these peepers. They're spreading a trail of the enzyme. Like, I'm wondering if that's how it works. I'm not sure. But it looks like it's excreting something into the water. And this is supposed to cure us. I, it does, I'm not sure that it does anything just yet, but I wonder if running into that would, would help. I don't know. If you guys know the details, let me know in the comment section below. But anyway, this is pretty cool. Let's go find some others. This one is actually in the Sparse Reef. The other ones are located in the Dunes, the Grand Reef, the Mountains, the Northeastern Mushroom Forest, and the Underwater Islands. Let's go check them out. So this is the one in the Dunes. It's like right in the middle of it. It's actually quite scary. Let's turn it to day. Make it brighter. Yay. Still kind of scary, but look at all these damn peepers. So, ooh, it infected. Ooh, you're ugly. Hey, don't worry. These peepers are going to save your life. I'm telling you. This is actually awesome. I can pick these up. Can I? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to try to scan these. Can I drop this? I don't need this. There we go. Because after we scan them, we're able to scan them once again to check if they're infected or not, which uh, I thought maybe it would give us some information like, hey, this one has been cured. It seems to be showing signs of whatever. This is, I want to catch one. Come here. No, wait. You are you are bad ones. I want to get one that's coming out of here. If I just stand over here and click, will I get one? Oh, God. Hey. Oh, hello. I can also scan the alien pipe system. Will this give us the same download as before? An access point to a deep alien piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable range. The pipe is drawing in water from the surrounding area and pumping it to an unknown location below the surface. Peepers have been observed entering and exiting the access point. Other small creatures appear to be avoiding the vicinity, purpose unknown. This is where it's like, okay, either the precursors have trained the peepers in general, or the sea emperor is using its... <laughs> Majestic telekinetic powers or telepathic powers to communicate to the peepers specifically and have them come in and out I'm not sure why the peepers though. I don't think that's been explained just yet, but we will find out It does say on the wiki that it is the captive sea emperor leviathan that managed to train the peepers But the wiki can be adjusted and things can change. I don't know. Oh, hello. I haven't seen you guys in forever The sea treaders beautiful, but here is the vent the output of the piping system in the Grand Reef very clearly. It's all the same. They all look pretty much the same, I think. Different things you're going to find. Imagine, again, this is a situation where it's like if you haven't played this game before and you come across this, you're like, whoa, hey, hey, what the hell is this? Here's the one in the mountains or close to the mountains. I actually don't know. This is the mountain biome, not the actual mountain itself. We're, we're pretty we're pretty close to where the Leviathan spawns, right? The Reaper? The Reaper should be over here somewhere. I don't know. So here we are in the northeastern mushroom forest. This one looks actually red slightly. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life, picking up faint Altera technology signatures. Okay. Ooh, we get an eclipse. Nice. 
Oh, I didn't even see that glow. And here's the last one. The underwater islands. Are the bone sharks bigger? They look bigger than normal. So yeah, I don't know if there's going to be any more than this, but it's neat to actually have that. I, I really didn't think that it was going to be put in there. I wasn't aware of the development of it, but I remember thinking to myself, I wonder if they're actually going to go through and put Vince outputting these peepers. It would be a whole lot of extra work, but I guess not. Well done, guys. All right, let's go to the prison. We got a few cool things to check out. So now this thing makes a sound when it comes down, and now I have to see if the beam itself or the pillar is going to make a sound as well. Let's see. Oh, it's coming down. Nope. Oh, wait. Nope, no extra sound. But it did make the sound when it rose up, so that's nice. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, hey, if those vents are out there, that must mean the piping system is done. No, it's not. Uh, this hasn't been uh, fully updated just yet. And I'm not sure when it's actually going to be updated, but when it is, we're going to see a whole bunch of peepers flowing in and out, and maybe sometimes looking through the glass at the player saying, this is my life now. Help me. All right, so we're checking out the Emperor and some new animations. In regards to the different steps you're going to take to complete this mission or story. Looks like the model is messed up a little bit. Hey, your eyes kind of bleed through there, homie. Oh, also, this is now a hard surface. That's a huge change for me. Oh, hey! There's music! That is new! I feel like that's a perfect fit for the aquarium. You guys really know how to do music for this game, don't you? So the new animation is the sitting animation, uh, but it's at a different location instead of in the middle. As you can see here, it swims up and it will sit down right here and look at you. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to rotate between the two. Like, will it stare at me here and there or what? But as you approach the warp gate, the emperor will then... Well, in this case, this emperor is going to, I believe, swim over here and then zip right back to the same spot. Yes. Super fast and creepy. And then eventually, I think it'll look at me. Will it? There you go. Hey, what's happening? Dude, that's a, that is some posture right there. So, it, you can tell this isn't like an accident because of the way it's setting down its fin to prop itself up. So this is obviously going to be an animation for the part of the... I'm assuming after you release the eggs and the Emperor is still communicating with you, I'm assuming it's going to be where it's telling you, hey, you know, it blows the, the sand away and say, hey, we have to activate this so we can get our babies free. It will not stop staring at me. It's very still. Let me get a better look at this. With no obstruction. Ooh. Oh my lord. And there we go. The full zip. What's happening? That's super creepy. I actually really like the way it's sitting. Whoa. Oh my god. What the hell are you doing? Oh, it's blowing the sand away. Okay, so I had originally thought that in its idle animation that one of its tentacles would actually kind of blow the dust away, revealing it. Now it seems like the Emperor itself is going to physically blow it away while we're near it in order to show us. Because I guess it kind of would be passive if you weren't aware of the warp gate in the first place. That makes a lot more sense. Now, I don't believe that doing anything in regards to freeing the babies does anything just yet. I think the whole story pretty much stops here. Let's look at that one more time. Super fast. Yeah, it doesn't even choose to sit in the middle anymore. Maybe the middle was too cliche, too expected, you know? Oh, hi there. Aren't you pretty? Anyway, like I said, that's the update. Still no voice. Uh, nothing implemented just yet as far as hearing the Emperor. Ooh. Ugh. All right, so now I, I know a lot of you guys are wondering where the hell the, the Markiplier doll is. So we're going to go there. Don't worry. So, this is it. This is Life Pod 7. It's in the crag field, actually. And inside of this beautiful, beautiful life pod that once held life, you'll find a toy car. Woo! Everybody loves a toy car. Jesus Christ, dude, chill out. And here it is, the Markiplier doll. You actually cannot uh, pick it up. Instead, you have to scan it, which will allow you to craft it later. Same thing with a Jacksepticeye. 
tank except for that was given out via code. Anyone can find this now, by the way. It's an unusual doll. Not everyone knows who Markiplier is. But it's one handsome dude. So here's what it looks like when we build the Markiplier doll. It's a bobblehead. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. It says Markiplier with glasses, but you don't have glasses. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier, and welcome back to Subnautica. That's awesome. I like how they, they high-pitched his voice. <laughs> Jesus. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. Oh, nice. They got his music, too. Very good. Very good. I like that doll. That's, that's, that's superb. Anyway, so that's how you find it. Life Pod 7 in the crag field. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Like, share, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my latest videos. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.